Now, in his news conference, the Prime Minister set out plans for some businesses to reopen in England. Outdoor markets and car showrooms would be able to open from the beginning of June, if it's safe to do so, followed by all other shops later in the month. Let's talk to our business correspondent, Katie Prescott, who's with me. Katie, just talk us through what we're likely to see in the coming weeks in England. It's certainly going to feel very different. This is great news for shoppers, but also for retailers too, who've just been chomping at the bit to open since they had to shut their shutters. It's been a sector that's really struggled even before the coronavirus pandemic. So they're going to be delighted at this news. And it's also big news for the millions of people, of course, who work in retail in England who'll be going back to their jobs over the next few weeks. So what Boris Johnson's announced is that shops are going to open in two stages. On the 1st of June, we're going to see car showrooms and outdoor markets opening. And that's because he said they've got the space to ensure social distancing relatively easily. Ne the next phase will be on the 15th of June, when we'll start to see other non-essential shops opening. So department stores, for example, shopping centres, little independent retailers. Um, but they're going to look quite different, I think, to what we saw shops looking like before the crisis hit. The government's issued new guidance saying that shops have to be safe if they're going to open. And they've drawn a lot of inspiration from what we've seen in the supermarkets over the past few months. So shops will have limits on the amount of people that they'll be allowed in. There'll be arrows on the floor, for example, to show people where to walk. And then some guidance which is harder to adhere to, like trying to keep small children in check and stopping people picking things up when they're browsing. So good news for shops, but no news on haircuts as yet. OK, <laughs> thanks very much, Katie. Thanks a lot. Katie Prescott there for us, our business correspondent. Now, as the lockdown in England starts to be relaxed, as we've been discussing with the government setting out further plans to ease some of the restrictions, more people will be using public transport and returning to work. So in this environment, what are the risks of being infected with coronavirus? Our science editor, David Chukman, has been looking at the latest research. As people think about getting back to work, going out to do more shopping again and travelling on public transport, what are the risks of becoming infected? This animation simulates the inside of a train carriage. Marked in red, it shows someone who's got the virus, maybe without realising, and how when they talk, they could release it all over a fellow passenger. A grim thought, but some scientists say that droplets containing the virus are very easily spread. If you are just breathing, talking, then obviously the droplets don't travel as far but they could travel far enough to infect your friend who's sitting opposite you, chatting to you. Okay, so that's the key distance. How far do they have to travel to infect somebody else? So when someone's coughing or sneezing, it's vital to keep your distance. Otherwise, this is the easiest way to catch the virus. Another way is when someone infected contaminates surfaces, like in a kitchen, and others then touch those areas. And the virus might be carried through the air for several metres. We don't know how far it can go while remaining infectious. All of these risks are reduced out of doors, not eliminated. Keeping apart is still important, but any virus should be dispersed in the air. And if it lands on a surface, it should be killed pretty quickly by ultraviolet light. But it's a very different story when you're inside. So what happens indoors when someone coughs? like in this scenario. What's crucial is how the ventilation works. Here an air conditioning unit circulates the air and that spreads the virus around. In another scenario, a window is opened and the cough is carried by fresh air. The infection is still spread, but to fewer people. And the team behind this research say there are ways to reduce the risks when restaurants and other places come to reopen. You can open windows to help get more outside air coming into your space. You can talk to mechanical contractors to see if you can increase filtration or add humidification. Adding humidification helps to get the particles to drop out of the air more quickly so they are less likely to swirl around and cause other infections. And new research keeps coming up with answers. In this experiment, a breath is seen travelling through the air. But when a mask is worn, the breath doesn't get so far. As the lockdown is relaxed, ideas for keeping people safe, which seemed unimaginable before Covid, now seem to make more sense. David Shukman, BBC News.